Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Don Anderson, the Lone Star. I am a licensed mortgage broker, NMLS 1946644. I am licensed in Arizona, California, Georgia, and of course, the great state of Texas. I think I forgot one, Florida as well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the, today's topic is seller concessions. I know in a couple of videos, I said we're back in a changing market. Now is the time for you, the buyers out there, to go ahead and shine. Maybe you're a real estate agent. Maybe you're a seller and you're trying to figure out, hey, how do I make my home more attractive to sell with the higher interest rates in the shifting market? Well, you've come to the right place and I promise I won't take too much of your time. Seller concessions are simple. It's a credit that the seller gives instead of reducing the price of the home. They may reduce the price of the home as well, but typically it's a credit they give to the borrower that the borrower takes at closing. It cannot be used for a down payment, but it can be used for closing costs and prepaid items. What are prepaid items? There's a credit report fee. There are inspections. There's appraisals. Different items like that your seller concessions can be used towards that and other costs such as title insurance, uh, lender's title, just different things like that that the buyer ends up paying. How does this work? Well, if you're going with a conventional loan, that's a conventional or conforming forming loan, um, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, that particular type of loan allows you to get three per, up to 3% down in a seller concession or a 3% seller concession if you're putting down less than 10%, there's a 10% rule. If you're making a down payment of more than 10%, you can get 6%. For FHA, you can get 6% and for VA, you can get 4%. This can go a long way, guys. This can help buy down interest rates. This could, like I said, this could recoup some funds for you, like all those monies, that, that, the money that you put up front for the inspections, the credit report, the credit report, the appraisals, etc. And also, it shows you what to ask for. You know, a lot of people go into buying a house, they don't even know what to ask for. And sometimes, unfortunately, a realtor may not be quite sure on the lending side how the seller concessions work and how it can actually help their borrower secure a home without asking for a reduction in price. Hey, I'm still a guy that's going to tell you to ask for a reduction in price in this changing market. If you can, if you're in that type of area, do your research, hire a competent realtor, and of course, I hope you win in this shifting market. If you find this information useful, please like, share, and subscribe with the entirety of your social media network. Thank you very much.